Well, welcome to another edition of the Motor Mouth Podcast, which is part of the Street Volkswagen Group and the Street Auto Group. And welcome today. And today is, we're in red because it's the Heart Association Day. You know, you know that apparently y'all didn't know that. We didn't know that. But it's okay because you have the red cupcake. So <laughs> we're going to forgive okay, you good. on that part of it. So the best question of all so far for you guys is, what are we going to talk about and why are we here? And the best part of that is we have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just so you guys will know. So what we're going to talk about first is why we're here, is why are you guys here? We're here to raise money for Habitat for Humanity. Okay. And what is that? You probably want to know what <laughs> you that agree is. With that? Yes, She agrees. Do. Okay, yeah. just, you just nod your head, okay? You look like bobbleheads. Okay, yeah. all right, here we go. Okay. okay we're going to We're going to know. So what, first of all, Habitat of Humanities is a world type organization, correct? Correct. Okay, but we have a local organization, which I'm assuming is that you guys. It is. So are, are, are you guys like the Amarillo branch, Panhandle branch? How, how far do you reach? Uh, we're just for Amarillo. Amarillo, okay, good. Yes. All of our houses are built within the city limits of Amarillo. Okay, so let, let's back that up a little bit. Okay, so let's start kind of at the beginning. So wh where does the land come from? Either people donate the land or we buy the land. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, is there a certain neighborhood that you try and stay into or not really? No, whatever okay, we good. get. Right now we're building homes um, over by Glenwood Park. And so that's kind of the land that we're working with right now. Okay. Um, and then we'll be moving on. And one of my favorite things to do is to pick to pick on our camera guys and, and our stats and everything like that. So we have David and Chris hiding back there. So what was the park again? Glenwood. So here behind us, you'll be able to see uh, Glenwood. Okay, so but you'll be able to see it up here behind us because those guys will put it up on the camera here. Okay, so so, so just kind of go in, go anywhere you want to go with it. Well, it's just kind of a challenge to them to have to come up with it. So here we are at Glenwood Park and we're building homes there. So now yes. continue. So that's the land that we're working with right now. Okay, good. How, let's let's go back a little bit, if you know. How how many houses have been built in Emerald? hundred. We're working on hundred and eight. No. We've built hundred and eight. In what time frame? since 1981. Mm -hmm. Still, that is huge. Mm -hmm. That is really cool. So three, four, five a year type thing? Yes. Or start yes. off slow, got bigger? Yes, they were doing one a year. I oh, that's not enough. And then recently they started doing um, three to four. Okay, so one a quarter, those kind of things. Yes. Now, do they, do they kind of do like, okay, we're gonna do them all. We do four or five at the same time. Or do you kind of start one, finish one, start one, finish one? Yes, we start one, finish one, or get close to finishing one, and we're trying to start another one. We can only move on if we have the funding to money. move on. Absolutely. Um, and so that that was our crutch before. Cool. And now, is this our month that we're doing this with them? Or okay, so a, as part of Street Auto Group, which is Street Volkswagen, Street Toyota, and you guys, if, if you follow our podcast, you know how much we love the area and love everything we do, and how community minded we are. So that's really cool. So you guys are one of our charities of the month that we're working on. So that is super, super cool. So what is our day? Do March 3rd. March 3rd. Okay. Yes. Super cool. Okay. And we're going to build, we're building like a Tudor style? Are we building a split level or? It's a three bedroom. Three bedroom. Wow. Cool. Three bedroom, two bath. 1,200 feet? 1,000 feet? I mean, You're roughly, right on the money. Right yep. about there? Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is, which is nice. Yeah. yeah. Have you done okay. this before? I have. I've built them in Juarez, Mexico. Oh, cool. Because I used to live in El Paso. Did one in Fabens. Um, we did one up near Silver City in the little mining area there. So kind of been on two or three of them. Okay. Yeah, the ones like when you when the ones in Juarez were overnight, which at that time was pretty scary. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't the most <laughs> safe place in the world, but you talk about a need for it. It was no question. Yeah, I bet so. Yeah. So I thought it was really funny because a good friend of mine had a rod iron business and I brought like five different sets of rod iron to go on the windows. <laughs> They're like, we don't normally do that. I said, I know, but I thought it was kind of a Today's nice touch. Good day. <laughs> I thought it was kind of a cool touch. And the poor family that we were doing it for, the kids were looking like, is that to keep us in? Yeah. No. no. It's not exactly what it's for, but the dad's like, yes. I was about to say, maybe. It is. Yeah. It is. Maybe. Yeah, that's why my parents put it on our house. Uh -huh. But that was just, that's me and that's a whole nother story. But these, these two kind of know that. Okay. So t let's go back a little bit. So tell us, how long have you been doing this? Personally? Mm -hmm. um, in August is when I started working for okay. Emerald Habitat. And before that? Before that, where was I? Yeah, can we plug them or is this? No, we don't. No. That's fine. I was working at um, AISD in the okay. education center. Okay, good. Um, okay, very cool. Mm -hmm. One of our construction guys going right through. That's fine. So part of the construction crew is just keep all this kind of legit, you know, <laughs> so you can see the kind of rag hanging on the back. And well, you need your hammer? It's yeah. Okay, anyway. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we have your hammer. Yeah. Okay. He needs to walk by with that furniture. And all. That'd be even yes. better. Okay, so and now tell us your deal. Um, I'm Kim Webb, and I've just been with Habitat since October. 
before that, I was a stay-at-home mom. And um, when you I got went a back, real job. I, exactly. I don't care what anybody says. Stay-at-home mom. <laughs> That's right. I don't. I, I never wanted a job. I have four kids. No thanks. Yes. Couldn't have done it. But when I I'd had four dead kids, I just <laughs> want you to know that. that I, yeah, I was not the one to be at home. <laughs> right. Yeah. It was fun though. I enjoyed it. But when I wanted to go back to work, I wanted to, to go back someplace that was making awesome. a difference. So yeah. that's why I picked Habitat for Humanity because we are making a difference. That's very cool. Yeah. That's really cool for you. Okay, so today we're here and it's Cupcake Day apparently. That is Cupcake Day. And we have footballs. Was, was, was that by choice or is that just with the Super Bowl? That's kind of what was out there we to buy. Thought, yeah, we thought we'd roll with it. It's cool. Since it was so <laughs> when we finish our house, we need to make sure we give them a football. Yeah. Just to continue the <laughs> thing, okay? Ahead. So just kind of follow along with what we're doing. <laughs> All right, so between building the houses, this is what you guys do. You get out, yes. you get in the areas, you try and raise money and do everything else. Well, we have to, yeah, because right. that's yeah. the only way that we're going to build the houses is to raise the funds. That's, fund. that's really good. And now let me ask you, we'll try and plug some of the other guys that do good for you guys because we have a pretty good following on this. So Lowe's, Home Depot, any of those guys? I mean, do we have some really nice sponsors that you guys are able to go to and say, hey, you know, we raised this and we need such and such? And we do both with Lowe's Both those, Both of them? Okay. Any, anybody local, Sutherland's or any of the other guys? Or? And Marble Depot is Mar one of awesome. our biggest um, They're They're the neatest people. They, they are, are super cool. They are. Yeah, I've, I've seen them and I see them at some of the chamber stuff, whatever. They've yes. got it. They got it going on, man. Their employees and everybody so involved and they so engaged. Are, they yeah, great. yeah. They are just great, great people. Yes. So, absolutely. Yeah. And here's their logo and, and their locations and stuff right here. So we'll make sure we get that taken care of. So cool. Yeah. All right. So what? Tell me what besides the cupcakes. What else are we doing? Um, today we have the spinning wheel. So if anybody donates to wow. Habitat for Humanity, you get to spin and win our prizes. We have anything from T-shirts to water bottles um, and cupcakes, of course. Um, that is very cool. Food. Yeah, yeah. Some. absolutely. Well, that is really, really neat. Um, have you before August? Did you did you go on a build? Is that what kind of got you going or? No, um, I'm also the same with her. I, I wanted to do something that was helping other people. Absolutely. Um, Amen. So this That's was awesome. the best way for me to get mm -hmm. plugged in in that. Um, and I like meeting new people. So. so since you've been in in August, have you done a couple of houses? We did. Both of us actually worked on the last house. Um, right. And so now we kind of have that experience where we can tell people about that as well. Yeah, and it, it's a real commitment. I mean, yes. it takes some thought and some planning and somebody's got to get the slab down first. And yes. yeah, you know, it's, it's, but it's a tremendous amount of fun. It is it, a lot it, of fun. It and you, you will make some us. lifetime friends. Yes. Right. No, no question. And when y'all come, I think on Saturdays, usually the families come out and volunteer as well because they have to get their hours. Right. Pick and their room. Yes. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Decorate it. Yeah. Um, so on Saturdays, you get to meet the family. So you're interacting with the families as well. So that's kind of another perk. Absolutely. When you volunteer. Yeah, very cool. We're and pretty family based at the street group. So, yeah, yeah we kind of like all that. And 90% of our home is built by volunteers. Okay. So a lot of the community doesn't know that. The yeah, other 10% is by Chris? Yeah. Okay, exactly. good. Chris, I got you in, buddy. You're hooked up. You're good to go. Yeah. But we have to have the things that we have to have um, zo zoning and things like that that the um, city has to approve, the HVAC, electricity, cool. those things we have to have um, contractors. But everything else who's, from. Who's, who's your HVAC from, guy? Is, is it one or there's a bunch of them? Or? gives us the best bid. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really good. Mm -hmm. so, and electric, kind of same thing? Yeah. Same thing. Cool. Um, right, anybody we want to plug or somebody that steps up quite a bit or anything? Banco or? has helped us a Banco. lot. Okay, good. Do we want to talk about those guys? Um, Tell them how much we logo. appreciate them. Here's yeah. it's Banco. Banco. B, B, not bingo. Banco. B-A-N-C-O. B-A-N-E-C-O. Okay. We'll find it. Banco. So it'll be correctly spelled above my head <laughs> at some point during this. Yes. Okay, good. I just want to make sure of that. Make sure we get it right. Well, I think it's awesome what you guys are doing, and we appreciate you coming out and being a part of it. Thank and you. We're super excited. We have a lot of fun. Yeah, we're yeah, excited and, to have you all we join raised, us this time. We raised a little bit of money, so yeah. we, I'll, I'll, go out there, I'll go yell at the employees because that's, that's one of the perks of doing what I do. I <laughs> told them that we could, you know, if they gave X amount of money, we could put a cupcake in your face. Okay. How's that work? <laughs> Let's get it up to 1000 bucks, and then yeah. I'm, in, I'm in for that. So okay. start, start pushing it. Let's <laughs> get going or whatever. So, yeah, it's a pretty good thing. Okay. Anything, last comments, last thoughts? Come help us. What, our date is March 3rd? March 3rd. One day deal? Day. Yes. What time do we start? 8.30. 8.30. Cool. Done by midnight, roughly? You know, if you want to stay that long. Let's scare them that long. Absolutely, yes. yeah, Well, David has to stay that long, and Chris with the pictures. And stuff. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, what do you, you drive? So 
personally, mm -hmm. I drive a Honda. Okay. A Buick. Okay. Enclave. Buick Enclave. My good. My mom drives a Toyota. That's very good. From us. Don't know. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, next time you got to come in and drive a Volkswagen, we'll show you. Especially yeah. on your Enclave. We're two months away from having our new Atlas. So and this is the Atlas right here. Uh, it's our new three-seater vehicle. Absolutely unbelievable. Uh, largest third row seat in the industry. Uh, Going to be a neat, neat vehicle. And we'll have a third row TIG one also. Okay. So we have some great stay-at-home mom cars. I was about to yeah. say, family they, car. They need to be yeah. rewarded. And of course, we're known for our sports cars and the things that we do with all of our German engineering. So okay. we wanna, yeah. Amarillo, we want to thank you and tell you how much we love you and all of the panhandle and everything that you guys do for us. And the fact that you do business with us is what gives us the opportunity to do business with these fine people that are out there doing what they love to do. And we get to take care and help other people out. And that's kind of what it's all about. So remember today is all, we're wearing red today for the, it's heart awareness is what you might want to call it. If you haven't had a heart check, especially if you're over 50 years old, probably a good thing to do. Go check out that cholesterol and do those others. So I, I'm not 50 yet, but we'll work on that. Yeah, I'm just telling you what you ought to do. So, boy, that's a bunch of bull. Okay. All right, gentlemen, anything else that we needed to not cover, cover? So, well, from the bottom of my heart, and you're, you're only Wolfsburg press dealer in the, this part of the U.S. and President's Award winner and customer first. We led the nation in those categories last year, and it's because of you, Amarillo, that we win these awards and do the things we do and get to have the kind of fun that we have. Yeah. So we'll send more people by. So once again, uh, thanks for joining us. The best part about a podcast is we love to tell them we don't care when you watch it or what you're wearing, <laughs> just as long as you watch. That's Please right. join us. Please support Habitat for Humanity. These girls work hard and do a great job. And if you ever get to go one of those, and especially the day after when they actually hand the house over to the family, it yeah. is uh, pretty pretty impressive. If you get the opportunity, you want to take your kids. Absolutely. It, it, it's just a, it's a real awareness to see and make them uh, count their blessings and understand the things that sometimes we take for granted. Right. You know. Right. So. Yeah. It's a good thing, and welcome to 2017, and I hope your year has started off well and everything's going, and God bless everybody, and thanks again from the Street Auto Group and from Habitats from Humanity, right? Perfect. That's right. right. Thank you so much Any, any last us. thing you want to see up above here? Or, so Maybe just a good map of the Panhandle or something, how Amarillo's the real star of it, you know? Yeah. Perfect. So, Amarillo, we love you. Goodbye. <laughs>